Hey guys, welcome back. I've gotten a few requests for some hot weather tutorials, so I wanted to give you guys some ideas on how to keep your face on while it's very, very warm outside. Uh, I tried filming this earlier, but it ended up just being a really long video, like 20 minutes, and I thought that was just a little bit ridiculous. So instead, I'm just going to show you guys what my three types of products I use on hot days are. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump on in. The first one I like to use uh, most of the time, to be quite honest with you, if it's truly a very, very hot day, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. Maybe a little eyeshadow, and obviously some mascara and eyeliner, uh, but not really a lot of face makeup because what good does it do you to have a face on if you're just going to be sloughing it all off, sweating it all off, and wiping it off, you know, throughout the day. Um, but if I do need a little bit of coverage, uh, this is my, my go-to, and uh, any really any real BB cream is what I really want to use. I've been using this one a lot. It's the Garnier Miracle Skin Perfector. Um, I have it in light to medium, and it has an SPF of 20 in here, I believe. I really, or sorry, 15 in this one. I really like this stuff. Um, I'm trying to get through this bottle so I can try the oil-free formula, but I really do like this stuff. Um, it gives a really like light coverage, like a BB cream, like you would expect, um, but it feels really nice on the skin, and I really, really like it. Uh, this color, again, is the light to medium. Let's get a little bit out here. I'll show you guys. It's not totally, like, dark. It's not going to cover up all of your imperfections. But it's going to give you a little coverage. And it blends out really nicely. It's nice and creamy. And I really, really like this stuff. Um, I also feel like my face is protected. I pull it down onto my neck and my neck feels protected. And it makes me feel really good. And then if I wipe it off, I wipe it off. It's BB cream. I'm not going to, like... It's not a full face. It's not a full face foundation, so I'm not like going to be wiping streaks into my face by any means. Um, the other, the second product I really like to use, um, this one I actually did yesterday, is a mineral or a powder foundation, and I really like these because I feel like it kind of mattifies your face and kind of gives it like a force field to the heat. This one that I have here is Mary Kay uh, Mineral Foundation in Beige 2. And I really like this stuff. Um, I'm not a huge Mary Kay fan, but I think this stuff is pretty great. Let's see if I can get it to open. There it goes. Um, again, this is pretty much the same type of coverage as a BB cream. It's not totally opaque. I guess you could if you build it up. It's definitely a buildable. Um, I'm going to put some right here. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Um, so that's that color. And again, like this is a buildable one. It's also very, very light. And I again, I feel like it gives you that force field towards the sweat that you're going to encounter. Um, I really like it because I just, it, it doesn't feel like there's anything on my skin. So I don't feel guilty wearing it. I don't feel like I'm going to be clogging up my pores or anything like that. Um, the third one, and this one, guys, <laughs> this one I'm really excited about. This is a full face foundation. And I don't wear it a lot in the heat because I don't like to have that much stuff on my face if I'm just going to be sweating and wiping my face a lot. But I wore this to a wedding um, earlier this month and it was a hot Virginia wedding. I mean sweltering heat and it only got worse as you know, the day went on. But I wore the Revlon Colors Day 24 Hour Foundation. This stuff did not move. Like I was so impressed. I went to go blot my face and I was more or less dry. I figured my face would end up on, the, on my dress by the end of the night. But this stuff this stuff locked it down. I was so impressed. I have the color um, Warm Golden, and I was just, I mean, I couldn't even believe it. This is a little bit light for me because I did go to the pool and get a little tan. Hopefully you guys can see it. Get a little more. Um, I mean, guys, this stuff is just... It's so good. Um, I haven't tried the whip formula. I've heard really good things about that one too. But I just, you know, I got my hands on this while I was in the States. And this stuff, I, I had no idea. Now I understand the hype. This stuff is just amazing. Um, if that doesn't do it all for you, I have a concealer here that I really, really love. This is just, this isn't a kit. It's in the Realness of Concealness kit. But it's um, Benefits Boing. I have it in number two in this little kit. It's this one right here. This stuff is really, really good. I haven't tried any of the MAC Studio Fix Concealers. I've heard really good things about those as well, but I love this stuff. I just tap my ring finger in the product and just very, very lightly dab it over the spots that need some concealing, 
and um, you know you do a little powder over it and it is golden uh, I really 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 enjoy this concealer I feel like it always is exactly what I want it to do speaking of powder I am so loving the Rimmel stay matte powders my little thing has completely rubbed off and this is in number 018 creamy beige this stuff is amazing I love it I love it I love it <clears throat> I like to just take a brush and wash over my whole face make sure to get my t-zone I wear this stuff literally almost every day that I have makeup on even sometimes that I don't have makeup on I use this to set my concealer, I use it to set my foundation, I use it to just spruce up my face. I love this stuff. It is so amazing. Um, those are really the only products I use on my face when it's a very, very hot day. I don't really use a lot of blush and bronzer. Again, I feel like you're just going to come off in the heat anyways. But I really wanted to give you guys some options, some ideas for what you can do to keep your face a little more heat proof. So yeah, that's it. I have a BB cream, a mineral foundation, and a full coverage liquid foundation, a concealer, and a powder. Those are my go-tos depending on the occasion. So I hope that this was really helpful for you. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Until then, peace, love, and smiles.